Ever since Darwin, the idea that we humans evolved from an ancient ancestor who looked and acted much like a modern chimpanzee has been widely accepted. It seems to make sense that millions of years ago, there was some kind of transitional chimp-like species that walked on two legs instead of on all fours. Were the arty fossils from that creature? Clues from Artie's pelvis might help answer this question. Early in the investigation, Lovejoy identified a distinctive clue on the intact front edge of Artie's pelvis, a small feature with big implications. It was a shape common to all hominids and was clear evidence that Artipithecus didn't move on all fours, but walked upright on two legs. She was bipedal, like us. Separating the original fossil fragments and putting them back together by hand was out of the question. There were simply too many, and they were all too fragile to handle. You're saying that that matrix filled the crack. When we open that up, there's nothing in there. Mm -hmm. Now, Lovejoy realizes he will need to make an accurate restoration of Artie's pelvis. To do this, he'll use his knowledge of primate anatomy along with a cutting edge technology called micro CT scanning. Sua's laboratory in Tokyo is one of the few in the world equipped for this task. Using the museum CT scanner, Sua will take eight weeks to produce thousands of high res scans of Artie the most comprehensive mapping of an ancient hominid skeleton ever attempted. Sua will work 16-hour days to make thousands of these precision scans, pushing both himself and the technology to the limit. Aspects of this specimen, where the joint surfaces are relative to each other. And now, 15 years after Artie's pelvis was unearthed in Ethiopia, the scientist's long investigation is finally helping to answer the question of how this strange new hominid moved. If I compare the pelvis of a chimpanzee to Artipithecus's pelvis, what you see is a dramatic set of differences in all of the anatomical characters. This is the pelvis of an animal that locomoted bipedally. It just wasn't as highly evolved in doing so as was Lucy. The pelvis reconstruction has confirmed that Artipithecus was bipedal, a major step forward in the investigation. Artie, Sunday at 9, only on Discovery.